Good morning. Can't believe I actually made it to stream today. The rate I was going, I didn't think I would have a computer. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to have to do some resizing. So one of my displays decided to call it quits this morning. So I'm not playing in the optimal settings with my wonderful three displays. Hopefully it's just a computer issue, which I fully suspect it is. My computer must be on its last leg, overuse. I'd be curious I, if I had a way to measure the total time that I have used the system. But I initially had, um, I had been having issues where the displays in the middle of the game would just suddenly blink out. <laughs> hey Venom, welcome. Yes, it's coffee time. Oops, I'm in the wrong... Uh, I'm in EU and not uh, NA. Let me switch that. I was going to say, that MMR looked really low. Well, hey Venom, how's your morning going? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Lots of hype. Though I wasn't happy that my biggest display broke this morning. It finally called it quits. Oh. So yes, now it's time for Battlegrounds and coffee. Yeah, I'm sitting here. I normally have three displays sitting. The other two came up with no problem. And the problem was that's the one that I log in on. So I had to just wing it and log in. And then I could troubleshoot. Couldn't get it to work though. It doesn't appear to even have power. So I think there's actually an issue with the display itself, but we'll see. I go through displays pretty, pretty fast. And I was getting ready to buy some new ones anyways. I want to get one of those, that uh, curved display, and hook it up to the new computer. It's time to go shopping. Right at bonus time. So, it's all good. So, it's almost freezing here. It's 36 degrees. That is obscenely cold for Arizona. And yesterday we had snow. All right. Who are they saying is the top ranked? None of these are really good. Cryptid Cookie. I don't place well with Cookie. Add a random dragon to your tapestry to your hand. I don't like her. I think of these, Cookie is going to be the best. So yes, the temperatures are just obscenely cold right now. It snowed yesterday at the big show, but I had mentioned in a past stream that we always get really weird weather right around the time of the show. And sure enough, it snowed out at the fairgrounds. They had to move everything indoors. I was worried that some of my plants that I have outside were going to get uh, like the frost issue. 
but uh, I didn't cover them. I probably should have. At 36 degrees and it's not even sunrise and it's always cold just right before sunrise. I could lose some of my plants. All my wimpy Arizona plants. So, I'll have to wait until the sun comes up. Way too dark to tell what's going to happen now. I know the horses are, are not fond of this. But they're out there, you know, bucking and kicking. I give them some extra food. Horses actually do pretty well when it's only 36 degrees. Even Arizona horses. <laughs> okay. More coffee. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what do I want to do here? Okay, I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Not really sure where I'm going with this. I'm just kind of winging it. I still want the triple, but I wanted to level. Oh. So yesterday I was trying to take my, my puppy out for her morning walk and I kept having to wait for the rain to stop. So I took her over to the front door and she was, she goes rushing out the door to do her thing. Well, she stopped really quick because the rain was coming and she just bleh, it, the, expression on her face when she saw the rain was just it was hilarious she was like okay i guess i really don't have to go right now so she was content to wait until the rain stopped and then i took her out for a very short walk because it was very muddy and the last thing i wanted to do was have to clean her paws off all right so we're going to do him what do I feel like playing? This whole hodgepodge. Let's see what we get. Alright, well that will be helpful. This is just all over the place. There's nothing really good. All right, we'll just see where it pans out. <sighs> so with this new setup that I had to quickly pull together, my camera angles are off, my chair and my keyboard are off. I don't have the optimal viewing for anything yet. I'm so bummed because that was my biggest display. I really hope when I hook it up to the other computer that it's really just a computer issue. But I've been having some issues with static in the office and um, even the puppy. When she comes close to me, I'm constantly getting shocked by her. So maybe it was actually a static issue. Okay. Use your hero power extra time each turn. All right, I'm gonna like stop with all the others and try to go for max. I love the emotes. So much fun. Alright. Get him. Oh. 
But today's Thursday. Oh my gosh, there's still one more day tomorrow. Mm. Oh, more coffee. This week has, uh, it's been a little long. I'm really behind on getting my miles in. Hopefully it'll warm up on the weekend so that I can go running. I'm going to have to make up a whole week's worth of miles. Get 25 miles in on the weekend. Which isn't, you know, unrealistic. Based on the amount of miles that I've been running. But two 12-mile days, that might be more difficult. Alright, so let's use him. Buff. Throw him in the pot. I want Max. Let's see. Alright, this will go to Synergy here. I'm going to put him on the little pup bot. Um, anything else? Who do we throw on the pot? What a burlap. All right. Let's see what happens next. Okay, he likes his Taragosis. Oh, I see his strategy. That's actually pretty good. Gonna take the buff from the demon and get the extra health. I don't know if he's gonna have enough time though to make that really play out. Okay, we get a deflect a butt. Oh, another one of him. Let's throw a mech in the pot. Oh, we'll get a triple. That's always helpful. And who shall we sacrifice? Um, oh, we'll just throw a mech in the pot. Okay. Here we go. Your four. Yay! That's what I wanted. Okay. Oh, so check this out. I need to raise like three issues, but I want to make sure I document them properly. Tell the deed I did a couple, but need to raise issues. Yeah. I, I understand what you're getting at. Yesterday, I had to do something similar. I asked one of my uh, team leads to, you know, write something up, and the way they documented it, it was obscenely confusing. And I was like, first, send it to me in Slack first, and then I rewrote it to something almost completely opposite of what he was saying. And he has a real difficult time verbalizing and capturing the thought. He then says. Can you update the status on Quality Center? Like, bro, do you, how do you want me to update something that is not 100% done yet? Oh, yeah. I understand that. Uh. It's like, didn't you have that done yesterday? And I just gave it to you? All right, let's see, I'm gonna update, spin, spin, throw a mech in the pot, there is nothing that's going to help me here, there we go. Um, just throw another mech in the pot. Perfect. 
All right, so he's going to go away. He's going to get Divine Shield. And I'm going to buy him. And let's see what I want to do. He can go away. All right, so I like taking something as ATM goes boom into a five-hour email. <laughs> what to uh, what led to it going boom? Lovely English. So I know you said, um, well, I think it, you said that you were in financial districts. So do you mean at the moment or actual ATM? Okay. Okay. Just making sure I remembered things correctly. And it is still early morning for me. Oh, yes. GG squish to him. All right. So I got my triple on my buddy. Let's go ahead and play that. Sorry, I, I'm just enjoying the music this morning. I have so much energy. Yeah, I'm just going to spin <laughs> or level, which I should have done before I played my buddy. Uh, let's throw a demon. <laughs> I, I really like game shops. I, I love their conglomeration of video game music. It just, I always feel so upbeat when I hear this. It's a good way to start the morning. Let's throw a dragon in the pot. Yay! Um, what are we going to play it on? I'm going to have to make some space, so I'll debate over that. Put the small one that way. So I like to hear music when I'm running, but when I run, for some reason, the earbuds always fall off. And it's annoying because I'm like trying to run and then I can't actually run. I don't know, maybe my ears are just too small or I have to get a big headset like this. Maybe that's the answer. I have to get a headset that's actually going to like fit over top of my head. But then I feel funny running out in the wilderness with a headset on. And we win. Okay, so he is not golden. It's 2022. The bigger the headset, the better. <laughs> that reminds me of like um, the 80s when everybody had these boom boxes. Oh my gosh. I used to take mine to the barn with me. I was such a nerd. And the bigger the better. I mean, like you did not need all those controls. It was so hilarious. All right, so we're gonna build up another one of those. We're gonna buff up him. Let's see what we get from tier six. Uh, nothing really good. Okay. Spin. Spin again. Oh, throw a beast in the pot. 
and the demon. We get another mech. Isn't it funny that when we get a product that goes above and beyond, no one needs it? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> I totally agree. I think I need to optimize my layout here a little more. I didn't think on that. But I will say those little earbuds with the iPhone, they, they're just not made for everybody. I know like my trainer, when he's out riding, he wears them constantly and they never move. He listens to podcasts while he's training. And for me, I, I just have no luck with them whatsoever. Oh my gosh, it's a tie, yay. Okay. So, we've got a lot of stuff. Throw a mech in the pot. These are level four. Just gonna see if we can get a triple. Let's throw another mech in the pot. Throw another mech in the pot. Oh, well, we've got a mech, but not really one that I wanted. Okay. All right, so let's buff him. Let's buff him. Let's move the other here. Let's move him next to the deflector bot. Come on. Give me a triple. Give me another grease bot. Okay, no real advances. Okay, let's see where it plays out. The screen that I'm playing on now is not as easy on the eyes as my other one was. I feel like I'm complaining a lot, but I really liked that other display. Hmm. I think all this is going to do is force me to switch over to that new computer to get everything set up. I got all my games set up on it, at least all my Blizzard games. Now I have to remember my passwords on Steam and Riot and all of that. Passwords, the bane of my existence. Oh, I don't think we're going to win this one. Oh well, we're dropping out of first place. Alright, so we're going against the dead dude. Okay, so what do we want here? Alright, let's throw him in the pot. Honestly, my buddy is losing his value. Let's throw him in his pot. Oh my gosh, just when I was losing all hope. <laughs> all right, so let's see what we get. Yay, we got a grease pot. Tier six. Well, if I was playing demons, I'd be really happy with that, but I'm not, so I am so him to him. Might as well throw him in the pot. All right, that's what we need. All right, give him taunt. Move him over there. Play him. 
What do I want to play? Oh, we'll play him. What the heck? Boy, I almost screwed that up. <laughs> that that was one of those you let's let's play it. Try to stay on top of this thing. Alright. He's gonna have lots of poisons, but he's already dead. It is obnoxious that the poisons keep spawning after he's dead. Okay, so let's I'll rethink this. Alright, see what our tier six is. Nothing helpful. We'll go ahead and level that. We'll throw a mech in the pot. Oh, so we'll throw another mech in the pot. It's a whole Russia Ukraine thing. I don't want to work today. You know, I I'm watching that as well. I I do have some concerns. Um, I don't approve of the actions that they're taking. However, the states, the places where they have chosen to um, go into, there is a whole other. Um, is he a triple already? Yes. I think that's going to give us a better buff. Oh, I could have done the Amalgadon. But yes, I'm concerned about that as well and watching very closely just to see what pans out. I, I just think it's disappointing. I mean, it, obviously worrying about it won't fix anything, but like how long is this going to con thing going to continue? No, I agree. It, it just it's it's not a good situation overall. And I'm most concerned for the people over there. I mean that whole region has been very tumultuous just historically. Back when that used to be like um, the whole territory of Yugoslavia. At least I think I'm remembering all this correctly. I had a pen pal that lived in that region that I used to write to and never heard from her again after the first invasion. It was very unfortunate. Yeah, it's just not knowing what happened and having absolutely no way of finding out. I still have the old letters that I used to write back and forth. Uh, I always, I enjoyed uh, meeting people, which is why I love streaming so much now. I just, I love, I'm a very extroverted person. I love to meet new people and learn about new people. I'm one of those people that can just jump into any crowd and by the end of it, I will, I'll know something about everyone there. All right, let's throw a mech in the pot. I wonder, can I throw these in a pot if they're in my hand? Nope, I can't. Yay, more upbeat music. All right. So today's stream is going to be a little shorter. Uh, I have meetings at the top of the hour, so 7 a.m. my time. So I'm going to have to stop at 6.45 today, unfortunately, because I have to feed the horses and the dogs before all my meetings start. Well, I fed the dogs. But the dogs would not let me stream if I didn't give them their food. <laughs> all right, another triple. All right, so let's put it on that one. Let's play this one. Yes, if it sounds like my dogs rule the household, yes, they do. All 
throw them back in the pot. So yes, um, here's here's a few interesting stories. So there's a lot of competition between the dogs. Um, old dog thinks he should have all the preferential treatment, and the puppy really doesn't care. She she just the puppy is awesome. She is the most you know go with the flow doesn't matter. Um, if we say oh you need to be in your your kennel, uh, she'll go and lay down quietly in the kennel. But the old dog. If he says he goes and be, or you need to go and be in your kennel, he starts to push the kennel around the floor, and it's just obnoxious. He just cannot handle not being the center of attention. And now we have this new thing of who gets to go sleep with mom. So I try to alternate nights. One night I let the puppy come sleep with me, and one night I let the old dog come sleep with me. But the old dog doesn't like that situation. He thinks he should have the preference and get to sleep with mom every night. And if I don't take him in, um, he goes and has a, a, a deliberate accident right outside my door. And I am not happy with that because that's not the thing I want to wake up to first thing in the morning. So he did that again this morning and I had words with him. I was like, I do not need to wake up and have this first thing in the morning. And then the other is I have, I feed him pretty much around the same time every day. So he comes and I put like a baby gate up at my office so that they, you know, so they can't run around essentially. And he comes up and he starts scratching at the gate around time to eat. And if I didn't feed them before I was online here, I'd have the same problem. All right, I think I have time for one more game before. Yes, that's my little history with the dogs. But I just have to say that the puppy, ugh, if she wasn't so uh, just level, uh, cool about everything, it'd be really difficult. Is that old dog? <clears throat> Excuse me. He, he is, he's got his, his ways. I mean... I, I've mentioned before that we have no idea how old he actually is. I've had him for 15 years. And when I got him, they said he was three. Okay, do we want him? Yeah, it was another really bad choices. I think I'm going to do Rokunishu. So yeah, he's at least eight. He could be... 18, maybe they were off with him being three, but he appeared to be a full-size dog, and he definitely had all his teeth, because when they first got here, he bit me. Um, playing, uh, We were playing Frisbee, and I learned that he has, you can't get him worked up, or he just bites, and he was bringing the Frisbee back to me, and I was doing my normal, like, all, you know, pumping up the excitement that I do with all my other dogs, and he was just like, oh my gosh, wow, and I was wearing a coat, and he bit me on the elbow. I was like, okay, so you have excitement issues. We will not do that again. I mean, he let go right away, but still, it was... He was definitely a full-size dog with all his teeth. All right. Um, what do we want? Dragons are fun. So this dog has traveled, um, he traveled with me to when I worked at Blizzard. So he lived in a little one bedroom apartment. Um, I had three dogs in a one bedroom apartment and my uh, partner. It was very crowded and it was very expensive. I do not miss that one bedroom apartment and three dogs. I mean, now, um, we have three bedrooms, three baths, and two floors. Boy, I think they want me to go demons. But I'm just going to do that. And it seems cramped. I can't remember living in such a small, confined space. 
but it was the only apartment that I could find that accepted my dogs. I had to leave all my horses back in Arizona because I could not find a house that was reasonably close. And the rental fees for horses, oh, it's obscenely expensive over there. All right, I need to get some coffee, so I will get a refill while this is playing out. Oh, he always has a lot of minions. Alright, missed a turn, but we'll survive. At least I got it frozen so I could get that buff for my dragons. I think I was too determined to play dragons. Okay, so we'll play him. And... Buff the dragon. Look for more dragons. No more dragons. And more coffee. Now it's really hot. <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's dropped down to 35 degrees and it's getting close to sunrise. I'm surprised I didn't get frost warnings. I bet there's going to be some frost on the ground when I get outside. It's so pretty. It's the closest thing that we'll get to snow here. At least I haven't seen snow here, but I haven't been at this particular location very long. We are a little bit outside of the, the city proper, and it's a little bit different elevation, so we get a lot more weather. Showed the videos of the snow or the weather? Which ones are you referring to? The scary ones? Let's see. All right, there's a dragon. Let's see. Do this. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. I was watching one of the videos of the um, the swells that happen during hurricanes and how when the hurricane is coming in all of the water uh, got pulled out so that it was like dry all the way out to the end of the docks. And then the storm surge that comes in with all the flooding. I think that weather patterns and what happens with the weather are just oh, some of the most interesting videos to watch. And just to capture some of those. And there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of storms going on right now. I guess um like northern Europe, 
has gotten some really obscenely bad uh, like weather patterns and flooding. Alright, so after Fenlos, we don't have any Divine Shield, but it is a dragon, and it's going to buff him. And we'll get another one of him, just because. Not really a very strong build. I don't think the game meant for me to play dragons. All right, I'm going to have to adjust my chair height for this new setup, unless I can fix it. It's just not ergonomically correct. All right. Oh, do you remember the big tsunami that they had in, like, the, the South Pacific? And how there was just one native tribe that survived the entire thing? Because one older person in their tribe recognized the signs on the water before a tsunami and got everyone to high ground. I mean, those kind of things are just, are fascinating. <laughs> yep, there you go. There's always a reason for everything. He had special powers. Let's see. Do you have... Oh, uh, dang it, I forget, keep forgetting to level that before. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, all, I'm definitely off today. Avenge, battle cry, minion. Or do I want some taunts? Uh, let's just play him. So I read uh, this book about strange sightings of, oh, well, we here in Phoenix, the Phoenix area, we have our own um, notorious, uh, uh, like, UFO thing, the Phoenix Lights. It's been going on for over 20 years, and there's this whole study that's been going on as far as uh, the number of people that, co uh, what is it, corroborated on the story. Yes, I am. I am very, very near. I mean, the Phoenix Lights are one of the biggest um, mysteries as far as uh, aliens or UFOs. Um, I also had a chance to drive, um, what is it? It's a, in, it's a highway that runs from uh, California to uh, Utah, uh, all across northern Nevada. Which is another one of the hot spots. <laughs> Some teenagers outside with giant flashlights having a rave. That's funny. I've watched some of the footage of the Phoenix Lights, and it is a, a very unusual event. So. I mean, there is some validity to it, but I, I, I have my doubts. Though, if you think about it, just, you know, from the sheer odds, the chances that we are the only uh, sentient creatures in the universe, it really, I just, I have my doubts on that. I don't know, should I do that? Battle cry... I think I'll do this.
I mean, it, seriously, if you just you think about it, there's got to be some other something else out there. We cannot be the only sentient beings. Ah, oh, this is just not the game didn't want me to play dragons. That's all there is. Uh. And what we know is limited to the overall scope of what can be out there. Yeah, I did. It's just there could be something. So I I won't say that it's impossible, but you know, I just keep my options open. All right. This is Maleficent, and with her little buddy going off with all the bombs. Sorry, work is already starting to bug me. Imagine if we were just in a cube. Oh, I know. I know. If I didn't just have my virtual star party and get to look at everything that's out there and see it in the, the telescope, you know, it, it just was such an incredible experience. All right. This guy is doing absolutely nothing for us. Do that. Again, not very much for us. Flat images that cast the illusion of depth are freaky. Oh, you! You're right! Like those... Paintings that people do in the bathroom, like you're sitting on top of a uh, humongous uh, pit. Do this. I will say, though, that the, the artists that design those are really talented because they're very realistic. Or the artists that are so talented that draw people sitting on um, park benches. <laughs> I I can't imagine that in space. Oh, and speaking of space, did you see that they're having space flights, but they're completely... Uh, they're not piloted. So they're sending up capsules of people into space and assuming that the technology is going to be fine and no backup. I mean, just they send a group of people up into space with no pilot. No thank you. I am not interested in doing that. No, and they have to pay for this. I'm just like, no, thank you. I am going to keep my feet firmly planted on the earth. I don't want to go up there where there's no backup plan. And this is a dragon. I'll let him buff away. And I did think it was... Did they, even with a pilot, the backup plan was have fun. You know, it would be fun, but I would prefer to not be in a situation where you have limited resources and you're stuck in outer space until they can figure out a way to get you back. I, I would 
like to have the opportunity to go into space. So I hope that there's enough time in my lifetime where that's feasible. I even considered signing up for that, um, the, the trip to Mars. The first colonists on Mars. That would be incredible. I, I would be up for something like that. <laughs> oh, that, that's entirely true. I mean, it's just once you hit that takeoff point, hey, you're, you're, that's it. That's all you got. I mean, at least hopefully you get out of the atmosphere and get into space so that you get that experience. All right, we're probably going to be done after the sun. And I can see that it's light outside. Oh yes, there's a certain point at which the water, it's like when they, people jump off the bridge in San Francisco. Um, that's why there's always this like suicide watch because from that distance the water is is not going to protect you that's just like no thank you that's what that's another thing that I've really not had an interest in doing. Um, I have a friend of mine that I used to work with that was really into um, skydiving. I'm like, no, thank you. Um, I have no issues with planes. Uh, in fact, I wanted to get my pilot's license, but I see no reason to jump out of a perfectly good plane, even with a parachute. So that's that's one of those things that I say no to. <laughs> I mean, if, if that's your thing that you like to do, then that's great. But, you know, I, I'm just not going to jump in on that. All right, this should knock us out. Hopefully we stay at least fourth. No, nope, we're fifth. But it shouldn't hurt us too badly. That's okay. All right, um, I am going to have to end stream now since I have a meeting in about 12 minutes. But thanks for joining. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get some computer issues worked out. Maybe I'll stream from a different computer tomorrow. <laughs> so have a good day. Let's see. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining. <laughs>